Hell no everyone and welcome to Stardust ADV. Today we're doing a let's ride of my Harley Davidson soft tailed deuce. Some basic specs on this thing before we get on the road. Um, the deuce I got it used for about six thousand dollars at a dealership. Has a few mods like they put on these chrome grips that I am going to definitely replace. This little clock like watch thing, which battery is dead on it. It has the factory um, deuce saddlebags, which is really cool. This still has those. The uh, the deuce has a five gallon gas tank. Um, this seat is aftermarket, but has this like nice little storage compartment here. I have my sunglasses. I put on the um, Onyx day bag. The thing this was called. I'll correct it if I need to, but yeah, it's it's an official Harley product. Right now, it has a waterproof cover on. It's actually really nice, and it holds on just fine even on the freeway one like against the wind, even during a storm. So that's pretty good. They put a lot of flame aesthetic stuff all over the bike. I'm actually planning on switching that out. So even on these levers. But otherwise, specs wise, I mean, there is a Power Commander on here. So I'm actually not sure about what specs this is making. Because uh, Power Commander free. But um, the, ba the base deuce, so you're getting 68 horsepower and 78 foot pounds of torque. It has a five speed, five speed transmission. It's air and oil cooled. 88 cubic inch or 1450 cc about single disc brake up front it's like yeah braking power is not the best still let's let's go ahead and hop on get her on the road enough about the basics this thing weighs in 670 pounds without luggage or anything but with the crash bars and the luggage i see it's probably closer to 700 Alrighty. Here we go. The windscreen here is actually not the original windscreen, but who cares? Alrighty. I was hoping that my phone stays recording. My phone is recording audio and so is my GoPro. So yeah, we're going to do what we normally do on a let's ride video. Here's the soft side of here, though. I'm starting from a different spot. We're still at the beautiful Raymond County Park. But... Yeah, so this thing, like, yeah, it's heavy and soft, but... I feel like it's balanced enough so you don't feel it too badly. I do like the soft tail. So, all the soft tail, the suspension in the rear, kind of sucks. Breaking power all this stuff too also kind of stuff. Like if I hit this, yeah, I got some. Deep kick in the butt. Pretty deep and kick in the butt. So yeah, this is one of my personal motorcycles. So I said I bought her for six thousand. She's kind of my touring bike right now. I've been trying to use my view strum more as a trail bike. This is more of a touring bike. This is just very comfortable. Reach of the bars is nice. These are the soft mirrors. They work. As plenty of torque, I noticed that it has a kind of like the tractor like quality to do really low speed maneuvering in second gear. It has no issue. It doesn't really feel like it's going to stall out that badly. The transmission though is a bit clunky when you shift. So I just do to how old of the I mean it's more of an older bike. I have ridden one of the new Harley Milwaukee Apes and the transmission is a lot smoother and a lot more refined than um, this bike. Um, still pretty good lines, not sure if those were Moss or if they were standard. Not sure. Alright, we're on a dirt road because hey, um, it's getting a little rain too. Alright. So yeah, no matter where you are in the world, I'm sure you have a dirt road you're going to encounter at some point. So. That's why for the last ride, I always take the bike down a dirt road. Yeah, we're getting a lot of rain. I just cannot ride if I'm getting rained on. That seems to be my luck. 
The rain, the chance of rain today was supposed to be real low too. I'm wearing my super ventilated jacket, so my arms are already actually getting wet. It's funny. But it was really hot just earlier. I was trying to set up my recording. I was baking in the sun at the park. And now suddenly it's raining. I am getting really wet really quick though. Pretty big drop. Yeah, you see, Harley's technically doing it. It does slide weird sometimes. It is not graceful over the rocks, and like the suspension does not like the bumps. And any of the little hot holes and watch 40 seconds, it does not like Whoop. the dip there. It was not supposed to rain. Ah! Yeah, by the way, every time I've gone on a ride for the last few weeks, even on times it's not supposed to rain, I suddenly get rained on. It's been hilarious. Uh, the co-workers are making jokes about it. Hmm. Yeah, it's like if you have to go over a couple miles of dirt road, this is not the worst bike in the world. I would just never try to take it off-road, or do anything choppier than this, really. I mean, I've been on worse than this. I've taken this bike out to visit my family in Kingman, and uh, they live kind of off the grid near Kingman. And yeah, that was very interesting. The bike, it did not compose itself, like, at all. I was lighting everywhere. And I think that helps the tribute to the heavy bike not feeling super heavy. It's funny how low to the ground it is. There's like no ground clearance, and you have like a 25 inch seat. I was really not expecting rain today. It's supposed to be dry all this week. I guarantee you I'm going to get rained on every day to ride this week. Alright, freeway segment. In the rain, no less. Normally if it's raining, I take out the V-Strom. So there's plenty of get up and go power even on old Harley. Alright, here we go! Yeah, it doesn't have any issue getting up to 85, 90 miles an hour if you need a pass. It's very stable at high speed, and the wind barely affects it at all. Very composed on the freeway. Very comfortable. I mean, I've taken this thing for a few hours at a time on the freeway. I haven't done these super long trips on any of my bikes. As long as I've done three hours out and three hours back, flying front and rear brakes. You have adequate slowdown, but it's really not all that great. See, now it's all sunny again. This is this is wonderful. That started in second gear. Just down the first just now. Funny. Alright, now we go around the neighborhood. And the exhaust is really loud, but it's a screaming eagle exhaust, I guess. And being in the warmth again, it's dry. Feels nice on the wet legs. So it has to be like a gear high the whole time, or else the bike is way too loud for um, my poor neighbors all around here. So, so yeah, stop sign. Gradually slow down, bring your feet down. Nothing to worry about, really easy. Oh yeah, signal. This way. 
car is just fine. I have straight, um, I have straight four horse, I guess. Oh, then again, the crash bar is over the four horse. Probably straight bat. But yeah, I have scrapes on this. For a specific turn, I was going uh, as fast as I normally carry off with the uh, speed on my V-Strom and started scraping, and I'm like, oh, that was scary. So I can't know, this is not as fast or as maneuverable as like a V-Strom 650, but it doesn't have to be. It's like a little commuter, if you have to do a bunch of stop and go traffic. Well, let's see that when we turn on one of these roads. Just do a lot of stop and go. Yeah, see if I'm bringing you stop, see if I'm bringing you start. People in front of you stop, people in front of you start. And they're stopping already. And they're going already. Yeah, it's fine. It's not hard. To, like I said, it's a low seat, is what really makes it doable despite its weight. Despite this being monstrous weight, that low seat is. The low seat is great. And it's been my daily commuter bike for like the last few months so I can really get to know it and make my review on it. Oh yeah, hill stop. And it's not a steep of a hill, so hill stop. Composed enough. I'd rather hill stop on this bike than my um my my V strong. So the lower seat it's easier to get my feet down on the incline. That is not the part where I mentioned the name of my bike. Like my V-Strom is Via, um, this one is Duchess because, I don't know, it's legal, composed, but seems kind of mean and unapproachable at first, so you get to know it. Oh yeah, self-canceling turn signals, I um, actually don't like them. Because I'll always either try to cancel them, or I'll forget to cancel them and expect them to cancel themselves if they don't. They cancel themselves except when I'm expecting them to. So either self-cancel when I still want the turn signal, or they won't self-cancel if you complete the turn. It's like, yeah, I just, I don't like him that much. I feel like it's kind of a worthless feature on a motorcycle. Another hill stop. Oh, I was going to get ready to go, but... It's good. It's not perfect, it's not probably great, but it's good. And it's good enough for me, I really like it. It does have a pretty nice little bit of torque. It does have a nice torque. That's the thing about Harley, they have nice torque. You never talk about Harley horsepower, you talk about Harley torque. I start to pay is coming the other direction on this road before. Yeah, cornering isn't all that great. We're talking about a big, heavy lump of Harley Davidson. Real American sail! Yeah! Yeah. yeah, final thoughts. It is a nice little package. I mean, not little, it's huge. It's a nice package for what it is. I'm sure back when this thing was brand new, it was stupidly expensive though, but as it is now, it was like $6,000 or that's it's, I think it's blue book value is between five and 6,000 based on condition. And yeah, this thing, four fingers on dirt roads way more often than any Harley should because I tend to just ride on dirt roads and back roads like that way more often then the bike's probably intended to go. The poor thing probably went from living in a garage to living in my driveway. Thanks for watching. Start us ADV out.